Hi, no, this isn't a dumpster PC. This is actually my old editing machine, believe it or not. Um, probably dates from like nine years ago or something. It's a HP uh, Pavilion DV7 for those playing along at home. It's got a Core i7 in it. It's, no, I'll try and put up the uh, details of it. But anyway, it does have uh, Radeon graphics in it. And um, I added a solid state uh, drive to it later, Windows 7. And uh, the problem with this laptop, well, twofold, the Radeon graphics card is actually uh, not supported under Windows 10. They decided to drop support for the damn thing, which means it, it uh, had to revert back to its Intel uh, HD 3000 graphics, which is okay, but there are all sorts of compatibility issues with the mach this machine, so that they were uh, Windows problems. Yeah, yeah, all you Linux fanboys, whatever. Um, uh, usually, like, Windows is just fine, don't have an issue with it, but with this particular um, d laptop, it's just, no, it was hopeless. A couple of keys worn off, um, but one of the big problems with it is a, a thermal problems. It gets really hot around uh, this area here, so I assume that this is where the uh, processor is. It gets absolutely stinking hot often um, and the fan is loud and it whirs and I, I think occasionally I heard some like wobble in there so the fan is probably dodgy or something like that anyway I thought we'd uh, take this puppy apart because like the thermal uh, paste is probably gone in it probably needs to be replaced or whatever and I thought because I'm not going to use the uh, Radeon uh, graphics anymore maybe we could take out the video card or something like that if that's possible if it's not integrated on the motherboard I can't remember um, I don't think the battery he's got any life left on it but it's replaceable and everything else so anyway I thought we'd uh, take this apart this is actually I'm not going to say it was a beast back in its uh, time but it actually supports uh, two uh, drives in it and I had two drives I didn't there was none of this solid state rubbish back when I originally got it um, but I put in like a second I had like a black uh, caviar 7200 drive in it that's where I held all my uh, video files and that's where I'd edit them from and stuff like that so it was a bit of a beast in terms that it had uh, two hard drives it's a 17 inch jobby uh, one of the issues though is that uh, the screen's not even full HD it's only 1600 by 900 so you know it's, it's not terrific, but I thought, you know, I, I thought we'd take it apart and just have a look, um, see maybe if I can replace the thermal uh, paste or whatever, maybe remove the graphics card because I don't need the power consumption, get a new battery for it, and it's probably uh, good to go again, I'd say, so let's give it a burl. First of all, we'll pop out the uh, back of it here and have a look inside. Yeah, there's the dual hard drive uh, oh really no 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 that's empty yeah i used to have the uh, two drives in there i did install a solid state drive um it's got 16 gig of ram in there um is that the yeah that looks like the uh, wi-fi dongle there is it and uh that's about all she wrote in the bottom of it um so yeah let's get the screws out and see what's what come out there yep battery comes out so yeah, I can just replace, I'm sure I can still get a replacement for that somewhere. Third party job. Yeah, Philips Self. Are they self tappers? Let's have a squeeze. Oh, uh, no, it's probably in the metal. Doesn't say take out that one. There's no arrow on it. So I might leave that in because that might be for the uh, CD drive. So no arrow for that. That's a bit strange. So little plastic arrows usually tell you what's what. No, surely I'm going to have to take out more screws than what it shows there. That's just nuts. I mean, why would you have ones like that? And there's no arrow like this. You know, there's screws all over the place. Hmm. I'll get back to you. Okay, it seems to be that uh, this back case might not come off. The key, it might be that the keyboard actually comes off first. So I'm going to uh, take out the drives. And, oh yeah, there's another little, another plastic screw down there. It's the D, oh, the DVD drive might come out, perhaps. Um, yep, yeah. anyway, ugh, it's lots of steps. And I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background. It's Melbourne Cup Day here in Australia, which is a horse race if you didn't know, and yeah, someone's having a party. Yeah, as predicted, the DVD drive comes out. 
Not sure that's going to help, but I uh, guess we'll... Oh! Oh, there's a disc! <laughs> there you go! Uh, play school fa ABC Play School Favourites. Um, yeah. And you'll notice that actually didn't come out of the drive itself. Um, <laughs> because it's all integrated in there. The tray is all inside there. So that was actually sitting under there. So somebody has shoved this in and wedged it between the drive and inside. Oh, goodness. I'm sure we were looking for that at one point. And that is a keyboard icon. And uh, to match the, uh, well, that's actually, that says uh, keyboard, but that was actually holding in the uh, DVD drive. So that's keyboard. So I'm going to get that screw out and maybe... That's the only one I can see, so maybe that's the only one holding in the keyboard and the keyboard might just pop out. Oh yeah, there were a few clips around this and yeah, this is going to be a bit crusty. Oh, look at all that. Wow. <laughs> that's incredible. So yeah, all that crap will get into the fan. I mean, like how does that much crap get under? A keyboard like that, it was real. there was no room around the outside of that. Oh, I guess I ate a lot of stuff um, working this keyboard. And yeah, if I get these two screws out here, then, ta-da, this top starts to lift off. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's the, that's the ticket, laddie. Yeah, if I get that flat flex out of there, should be good to go. Here we go, and this should... No, I've got to get that off too, do I? Got to get them all off, actually. Not surprising. There we go. I can just flip that over like that. And we're in like Flynn. There we go. Yeah, all that crustiness has gotten inside of here. For those who want to see the back of that. There you go, just give you a little squeeze. Here's the trackpad thing, although I'm a nipple man myself. Uh, but, yep, oh, you can see, all nickel screened and everything, so, as you'd expect, there's the main board, it's an L-shaped job, and the process is going to be under there, and this is where it gets hot, so, um, yeah, the fan is, uh, it's <laughs> not working very effective, but there's a ton of dust in there. Look at that. So, that needs a good blow job. They got cold chisel now. Pro tip, never get a blow job indoors, always outdoors. Actually, the fan seems in good nick. There's no broken blades or anything. And if I spin that, that's actually, that actually spins pretty silently. So, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, that took a bit of massaging, but I was able to get that out. And well, I think, no, no, still got the uh, hard drive cable integrated in there. Bummer. All right, so there it is. And you can see all the residual crud under the fan under there. So I'm going to clean all that out. And the heatsink and fan is integrated into the board. So ta-da! There it is. We should be able to take out the heatsink. So we've got the, uh, well, I, I processor up here and um, chipset here. But yeah, just some copper heatsinks. But the fan seems intact. So that's all right. Maybe we just need to replace the uh, thermal paste. Let's see if she pops out. They're all numbered, so they tell you which way to, well, which order to insert them there we go it could just use sill pad all right no we've got some compound better disconnect the fan that helps and there there you go does that look a bit crusty burger that's a little bit crusty burger i think we should uh replace that and there you go Ooh, it's only in a socket 
Time for the isopropyl wipes. There you go, AMD. So that's our uh, graphics chip. So it is integrated. So, so much for me thinking like it was on a board and I can just physically remove it or something. So I just thought, you know, I'd do that to reduce the power consumption. But nah, it'll have to stay. There we go. Here's a look at the processor, but uh, can't see much. Just got the bare die. And yep, there she is. Pin grid array. Look at that bad boy. Wow. Maybe I could upgrade it, but uh, I don't think it's worth it. So there you go. They're all uh, cleaned up. So I'll whack some new uh, paste on there and she'll be right. Hopefully uh, that should improve things and clean out the fan and Bob's your uncle, I hope. Anyway, yeah, I'll just put some whatever grease I've got available. None of that Arctic graphene nanotech bullshit. So there you go. That's cleaned up. Good as new. Uh, that should go back in and well, we'll give it a try. So yeah, that wasn't the uh, easiest machine to disassemble or uh, re like reassemble when okay, once you know what you're doing. If you're working on these every day, it'd be a piece of cake, but I've never taken this apart before. But uh, you know, I, I appreciate like little pull tabs on the, um, on the connectors here and stuff like that, you know. Little bit of thought's gone into it anyway. Yeah, she's a compact and somewhat convoluted beast. Oh, I was going to say I could power this thing up uh, before I put the keyboard in, but oh, the power switch is part of the keyboard. Yeah. And it's a real pain. You've got to actually connect that in there and there's no play in that at all. There we go. LED's on. Way she boots. No worries. And uh, the fan is not going full tilt. Normally, when you turn this thing on, it's... So it was obviously like, um, you know, the, the die temperature sensor or whatever. Um, you know, there's probably various temperature sensors in there. And it was detecting that, uh, oh, no, I need to turn the fan on full blast. And, uh, well, yeah, this thing always took like forever to boot. Yeah, came up. Ugh. Processor at least worked. Uh, yeah, there we go. No walkers. Works a treat. And yeah, the fan is not on. Uh, fantastic. Get it? Ha! <laughs> Mere all week. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, that, so it would be whirring now. I mean, it'd be going. And yeah, um, so that looks like just get in there and re thermal it and sort of clean out the fan and stuff. And Bob's your uncle. And for all you keyboard aficionados out there, there you go. That's pretty flexible. Jeez, I could do a wobble board on that. Timey kangaroo down, spot. Timey kangaroo down. So that was fixed with a blowjob and a bit of lube. Awesome. Now, does the moosey work? Moosey works. Yep. And keyboard works. No wackers. Now, you won't be able to hear that, but I can hear that. Wow, just coming on very slightly. Barely even hear it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Fixed it. And it's fully back together. Hopefully booting off that battery does still have some charge left. And the amazing thing is, no leftover screws. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. So yeah, just for some reason, it's very slow to boot. Um, it's the Windows 10 configuration. Need to either completely nuke it with uh, Windows 7, uh, 10 from scratch, or uh, if I want to use the uh, Radeon uh, integrated graphics again, I'll have to go back to uh, Windows 7. So I have to install that, and then you've got to install the special drivers for the, uh, I think the ones that like came with it or something. You've got to have the original disc or something. But anyway, if anyone knows if you can get the uh, process, the GPU on this running, uh, yeah, speakers work too. Beauty. If anyone knows whether or not you can get the uh, ATI Radeon uh, graphics running in this thing um, on Windows 10, please let me know. But like the, the Radeon uh, graphics detection tool doesn't even detect the chipset. And I've read various forum things and responses from uh, ATI and it's like, yeah, yeah, nah, sorry, we didn't support Windows 10 with this particular chipset. So bummer, but oh, run out of charge, better plug it in. But there you go. Um, 
it works. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'd rather not go back to Windows 7. And the, the graphics card in it's not spectacular, but I guess it... Yeah, I might. I might nuke it with Windows 7. Go back. At least I'll be able to maybe use it to, um, you know, like edit some videos like I used to back in the old days. Slow, but it works. Um, even, like, during recent times I've uh, used this. I've taken it on holidays and stuff, and I've, uh, you know, used it at a pinch to uh, do some editing and stuff like that. But I'm going to get a new editing uh, laptop, and as I've mentioned on Twitter, so follow me on tw the Twitter verses, um, and I've got a poll up there about which one I should get and all that sort of stuff, and you know, everyone's got an opinion. Leaning towards a Lenovo jobby at the moment, a Legion 5, 17-inch, uh, because this is a 17-inch. I really like the big screen, so it's got to be a 17-inch. So anyway, we'll see. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, discuss down below and over on the EV blog forum and check out all of my other platforms. I'm available everywhere, including the RSS feed on the EV blog website. Probably two or 3,000 people still watch the 720p podcast version through the RSS feed. <laughs> Fantastic. Catch you next time.